welcome back students to our maths class chapter 8 divisibility now in this practice set 22 they have given only one sum and it is in the form of a picture you can see here which is on page number 45 so i will just read the sum first there are some flowering trees in a garden each tree bears many flowers with the same number printed on it three children took a basket each to pick flowers each basket has one of the numbers 3 4 or 9 on it each child picks those flowers which have numbers divisible by the number on his or her basket he or she takes only one flower from each tree can you tell which numbers the flowers in each basket will have i hope you have understood we have three children here there are two girls and there is one boy and each one is having a basket with them okay this girl here is having a basket with uh, number 3 the boy is having a basket with number 4 and this girl here is having a basket with number 9 now what we have to do is we have to select that which flowers each one will take so that that flower has a number okay that number should be divisible by the number which is given to the basket okay and how we are going to do is we have studied the divisibility test for 3 for 4 and for 9 so the rules we have to use what we have studied in our earlier video and then we have to decide whether the number is divisible by 3 4 or 9 and accordingly we are going to put the flowers in their basket okay so one one number at a time you will take and then you will decide whether the for example we'll take this flower 1 1 and 1 triple 1 111 so whether this flower will go in the basket of 3 basket of 4 or basket of 9 and how we are going to decide for that we need to know the rules for the divisibility test okay now before i begin we will just revise with the divisibility test now for three divisibility test for three we have studied that any given number we have to just take the sum of the digits okay of that number and whatever is the sum if the sum is divisible by 3 then the whole number or the given number is also divisible by 3 then we saw the divisibility test of 4 now what is the divisibility test of 4 that we have to just see the digits in the tens place and the units place and the number formed by the digits in the tens place and units place if that number is divisible by 4 then the given number is divisible by 4 and the third divisibility test for 9 we have to just take the sum of the digits and whatever is the sum whatever is the addition if that number is divisible by 9 then the given number is divisible by 9 okay so now we can begin with 1 1 and 1 that is 111 so 111 first we will check for 3 for 3 what we have to do we have to just take the sum of the digit so 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3 is 3 divisible by 3 yes 3 is present in the table of 3 therefore the given number is also divisible by 3 so this triple one will go in that basket of 3 now we will check whether it will also go in the basket of 4 now for 4 what we have to check we have to check the last two or the digits in the tens place and units place now what is the digit in the tens place and units place 1 and 1 so it is 11 is 11 present in the table of 4 no 11 is not present in the table of 4 so 1 1 1 also will not be present in the table of 4 then we will check for 9 Okay, for nine, we have to take the sum of the digits. One plus one plus one is three. Is three present in the table of nine? No, three is not present in the table of nine. 
okay therefore 111 also is not present in the table of 9 is not divisible by 9 so 111 will go only in the basket of this 3 clear children now now we can uh, select number maybe this 220 okay you can take any numbers but see that you cover all the numbers okay so after 111 we take this number 220 we check for 3 how to check for 3 we just add the digits 2 plus 2 plus 0 is 4 is 4 present in the table of 3 no 4 is not present in the table of 3 therefore 220 is also not present in the table of 3 not divisible by 3 so it will not go in this basket now we'll check for 4 okay now for 4 we have to take the digits in the units place and tens place now if we take the digits in the tens place and units place we get the number 20 is 20 present in the table of 4 yes 4 5s are 20 therefore 220 is also present in the table of 20 so 220 will go in the basket of this boy here okay 4 now we check for 9 for 9 also we have to add the digits so 2 plus 2 plus 0 is 4 is 4 present in the table of 9? No. If the sum is not present in the table of 9, then the number is also not present in the table of 9. So 2 plus 2 plus 0 is 4. 4 is not present in table of 9. Therefore, 220 is also not divisible by 9. So 220 will not go in the table of, or it not go in the basket of 9. It will go only in the basket of 4. Clear children? So in this way, each and every uh, number given there, okay, in the picture, we have to check with 3, with 4 and with 9. And I explained you how to check. So, after checking, we have got this, that the number of flowers with a girl having basket number 3 is 1, 1, 1, 3, 4, 5, 2, 4, 9, 6, 6, 6 and 1, 2, 3. So, these flowers will be in the basket of number 3. Why? Because these numbers are divisible by 3. These numbers are divisible by 3. And how many flowers are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Therefore, total flowers are 5. Okay, we will check if you want. The divisibility test of 3 we know already. We just have to take the sum. This triple one I have done. So, 3, 4 and 5. 3 plus 4 is 7. 7 plus 5 is 12. Is 12 present or is 12 divisible by 3? Yes, 12 is divisible by 3. Therefore, 345 is also divisible by 3. 249. 4 plus 2 is 6. 6 plus 9 is 15. Is 15 divisible by 3? Yes. Therefore, 249 also divisible by 3. 6, 6, 6. 6 plus 6 plus 6 is 18. Is 18 divisible by 3? Yes. Therefore, 6, 6, 6 also is divisible by 3. 1, 2, 3. 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 plus 3 is 6. Is 6 divisible by 3? Yes. Therefore, 1, 2, 3 is also divisible by 3. In this way, we checked all the numbers. So, they are correct. Now, number of flowers with a boy, which is, a boy is having the basket, number 4. So, we checked for 220. We will check for others. What we have to do? We have to just check the number or digit in the units place and tens place. So, here 56. Okay, 56 is the number formed by the digit in the tens place and units place. Is 56 present in the table of uh, 4? Yes, 56 is present in the table of 4. Therefore, the whole number 356 is present in the table of 4. Or 356 is divisible by 4. Then we will go to 960. 6 and 0, 60. Is 60 divisible by uh, 4? Yes, 60 is divisible by 4. Okay, therefore 960 is also divisible by 4. 432, 32, okay, 32, last two numbers or the digit in the tens place and units place. 32 is divisible by 4, therefore 432 is also divisible. 336, 36, 36 is divisible by 4, 4 nines are, therefore 336 is also divisible by 4. 108, last two is 08. 08 means 8. Is 8 divisible by 4? Yes. 
Therefore, 108 is also divisible by 4. In this way, we wrote all the numbers and we count how many flags. We are getting 6 flags. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Same way with 9 we are doing. 369. We just add 3 plus 6 plus 9. Okay. It is 18. Is 18 divisible by 9? Yes. So, 369 also divisible by 9. We just have to add the digits. 4 plus 5 plus 0. 4 plus 5 is 9. 9 plus 0 is 9. Is 9 divisible by 9? Yes. Therefore, 450 is divisible by 9. 9 plus 9 plus 9 is 27. Is 27 divisible by 9? Yes. 27 is divisible by 9. Therefore, 999 is also divisible by 9. 72. 7 plus 2 is 9. Is 9 divisible by 9? Is 9 present in the table of 9? Yes. Therefore, 72 is also divisible by 9. And last is 90. 9 plus 0 is 9. Is 9 present in the table of 9? Divisible by 9? Yes. Therefore, 90 is also divisible by 9. In this way, we have 5 flowers here. Okay. So, in this way, we are going to solve. Students, complete practice set 22 in your notebook. Thank you and have a nice day.